you know, there's no question that like the majority of Iranians want reform. Uh, on my last visit to Iran, one of the things I noticed is all of my cousins, like literally all of them, want to leave the country. And obviously, with the panel here, we have some very intelligent people here, and I'm very worried about the brain drain and what that means for the uh, gradual movement for reform. And I just wanted to get your perspectives on that, um, what your friends in Iran are doing that are pursuing post-secondary education and so forth, and uh, what you think the future holds if, if the brain drain continues. Um, applying to programs you know, in Australia, Malaysia, uh, Germany, Sweden, uh, UK, Thailand, yeah. Any, yeah, every everywhere. Um, it's a it's a big it's a big problem. Brain drain is a huge problem um, in Iran. They say if you're smart enough, you'll figure out a way to get out. So you know that that's what one of my cousins says. So I mean, you have a lot of people going for post secondary education elsewhere with mostly no intent to, to return. I know my dad came to the United States as a student um, before the revolution, actually, in 1977, um, and. Uh, you know, that was the, the beginning of, of Iranian students coming, and it's been more and more common in the, with the new visa change that allows multiple entry for Iranian students. Um, I think it happened a year ago, a couple yeah. of months ago. Um, that's been a, a, real, a real help also to people who maybe were hesitant um, about not being able to go back or not being able to go back easily. But it, it is a problem, and um, it, it definitely, uh, definitely could be very detrimental to um, high, uh, so to fields like medicine, business, 